Good afternoon, deans, faculty, staff, family and friends, and especially graduates. <laughs> In my culture, we have a saying that it takes a village to raise a child. There are so many people in this room that help make today possible, emotionally, academically, and definitely financially. So let's take a moment to celebrate the people who have supported us along the way. This is the graduating class of 2019. We made it, y'all. The School of Human Ecology is the heart and soul of the college, and I am so proud to be a public health major. In this room, we have future dietitians, lawyers, fashion designers, leaders of the CDC and WHO, doctors, researchers, professors, community leaders, but most of all, people who are going to change the world. There is there is a magic at this university. The best and the brightest are pulled from all over the state, the country, and the world to learn on the 40 acres, somewhere between MLK and 27th. Some people come knowing their passions from the beginning, and others have learned their calling along the way. People aren't afraid to dream big here, and it is inspiring. We feed off of each other, and we are all better for it. Let's be a vessel of this magic wherever we go. I encourage you to let your passion burn inside of you like a sun and let others feel its warmth. Not only did we learn what academically or professionally excites us, but many of us learned how to use our voice. I've always been gregarious, and my first grade behavior folder definitely reflects that. But I feel like I haven't always spoken up when it mattered. This university has so many opportunities for students to get involved and be heard. From raising their hand in a classroom with 500 other students in it, to being leaders in organizations or advisory committees. We have all once heard that nagging voice in our head that tells us that what we have to say isn't interesting, it will make your peers think that you aren't as smart as them, or even that you don't belong. I have learned that self-confidence is a muscle that must be trained and nourished. Speak up and speak louder. Your voice is important and it matters. During our time at the university, we've learned to shoot our shot. Whether at people you were attracted to or that internship across the country, we have all taken risks and opened ourselves to rejection. It feels really good to win the officer position or get the fellowship, but not so good when you get a bad grade or that I regret to inform you email. Sometimes we win and sometimes we lose, and it is so important to have a power circle of people who uplift and validate us. My power circle is full of prayer warrior grandmothers, aunties that give pep talks with plenty of curse words, aunties that make the best care packages, a grandmother who taught me how to stay moisturized, cousins that kick me in the back of my knees and give me the male opinion, Friends that don't judge me when I flip the kayak. Friends that remind me who I am when I forget. And of course, my beautiful sister, who will be cuddled up binge watching private practice with me and always lets me know she has my back, period. <laughs> period. Um, and of course, my Stone Canyon family. Cheers to parents. Thank you to my parents for always making me feel special, dusting me off when I fall and pushing my shoulders back when I feel weak, and always being my anchors. I am truly grateful. Class of 2019. 
In these next steps, we are leaving our comfort zone and walking into uncharted territory. Let's hold on to those who hold on to us. My first day on this construction zone of a campus feels like yesterday, but it could have easily been 10 years ago. We have grown so much. I have cried many tears walking up that Dean Keaton Hill after physics exams, spent long nights studying in the union, and poured my soul out to friends in the Spanish Oaks Terrace. We came here eager to find our place at this gigantic university, and I am so glad that we have found it. All of us were in small learning communities our freshman year. It may have been Dean Scholars, TIP, <laughs> Honors, Fit, yeah, go Honors, Big, but mine was Wins, Wins, <laughs> AKA Women in Natural Science was my home on campus. We were able to use our strengths to supplement each other's weaknesses. Wins gave me some of my dearest friends, took me around the globe, and gave me a UT family. Thank you to Elizabeth Morgan and Olivia Bealey for consistently investing in your students. It truly shaped my journey. Four years ago, I came to the University of Texas searching for diversity. Even though UT student body is under 5% black, this university of over 50,000 people has so many identities that color and enhance the university. There are so many ways to preserve, honor, and appreciate culture at UT. Many attended Holy, Dia de los Muertos, and Voice of Africa events, just to name a few. Having the opportunity to befriend people from different cultures, religions, socioeconomic statuses, sexual orientations, gender identities, abilities, and fields of interest have given us an education that rivals or even surpasses the degrees we are getting today. We can lead with compassion, listen, educate ourselves, and seek to understand. As a deep-skinned black woman in predominantly white spaces, my favorite thing to talk about are science and blackness, two entities that are core to my identity. I have learned that the intersection of race and STEM is my career cause. UT has given us the space to hear from world-renowned academics and activists, listen to a myriad of professors in niche fields, and also UT gave us the biggest asset of all, each other, to explore ourselves and what calls us. In the School of Human Ecology, the tie between all of our majors is our desire to use science to heal minds, heal bodies, but also heal broken systems. My nutrition majors that want to make culturally sensitive food recommendations, my public health majors that want to reduce a health disparity for marginalized identities, my textile and apparel majors that want to increase a culture of sustainability in the fashion industry and protect women in sweatshops all over the world, my human development and family science majors <laughs> who want to impact prison reform and reduce mental health stigma, you are all so important and I'm proud to be alongside so many people in this room who are dedicating their career to the uplift and elevation of humanity. So many issues face our society today, but there are so many brilliant minds in this room that will be a part of the solution. While we are out there changing the world, we must always remember to take care of ourselves. Many of us, we learned about self-care and mindfulness while at UT. I took this information and ran. I am now known for my self-care Saturdays, we deserve to take care of ourselves. I'm gonna miss my yoga and Zumba exercise classes, $10 visits to the University Health Services, free visits to counseling and mental health center, de-stress petting zoos with the rabbits, but just the rabbits, 
and finals care packages from Sohi. The lesson has stuck. Your cup must have something in it in order to pour. Self-care is a deliberate and intentional act of love and restoration, and it will be necessary whether you are going into the workforce or on to do more school. The 18-year-olds who came here are not the same young adults who are leaving. We have evolved. For some of us, our views have changed. We have traveled abroad, brought new people into our folds, lived away from home, learned how to survive the rigor and persist the storm, and look good while doing it. We have been blessed with the privilege of graduating from the University of Texas at Austin. And my mom always tells me, to whom much is given, much is required. And I can't wait to see all that us UT19 Texas X's do for ourselves and our communities. Now, we have a saying around here that me and others have alluded to many times, but I want you to finish it with me. What starts here changes the world, hook em.